we don't make art, art makes itself through us. But you have to stay open to let the muse in. I mean, the state of being where it's not just us doing it. Time passes and you don't notice. It's like you're in a trance. You come out and you feel like you were led on by forces beyond you and just touched God. <laughs> it doesn't happen every time. For some people, almost never. But it's the reason to make something. It's the dirty secret why people are really artists. It's the chance to get to commune. <laughs> that how you get from creation when you're with the muse, or, or god, or whatever you want to call it. And then you come out of it, and you're like, how did I do that? But that couldn't have been me, that must have been someone else. I think athletes know that too. Scientists, mathematicians, they all know how to get in the zone. It's just that for me, um, to, to get to that thing is through painting or, um, or sculpting. But the muse won't come if you're thinking about your critics. That's why Fred doesn't read reviews. That's why artists drink. To shut up the critical voices for a little while. At first. But it destroys you other ways, I guess. I don't know. I am not an alcoholic, but... I am addicted to create art with my muse. If only... You could access that all the time, but you can't. Or at least I can't. But um, I guess that's uh, that's the flaw of criticism. You think the artist is creating something for you, but she's not. She's um, feeding her addiction. the The art is just the byproduct of the process. The art is for the artist, not for the people. You think the artist is creating something for you, but she's not. You think um, she's feeding her addiction. You think the art, the artist the is art is just creating something for you, but um, the art. She, she's not for the she's, artist. She's feeding not her addiction. For the people. The art is just the byproduct of the process. The art is for the artist, not for the people. 